Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Fabulous Free here, and I am back with another video. Yes, you guys, I am back with another video and another look for you guys. I decided to give myself a makeover because if you saw me, like the way that I looked these last couple of days, two, three days, uh, honey, you would have been like, what's wrong with you? You okay? Are you sick? Because I just had my little gangsta braids going. They got all fuzzy because I wasn't tying them up. I was in big t-shirts and, you know, biker shorts and just, you know, just chilling because I've been working on my other company, Technically Beautiful, which I think I am going to kind of cut that down some because I really want to focus on Fabulous Brie as much as I can and I'm just really loving like the groove that I'm getting into now like I'm super excited about uploading and like recording for you guys and also taking pictures and everything like that showing you guys my style my makeup my hair all of that good stuff so without further ado if you are interested in seeing the rest of this video of me doing a little makeover a mini makeover then definitely give this video a thumbs up and also continue watching and also girl or boy if you are new to this channel, if you just now came over here to Fabulous Breed to the Fab Family and you decided to click on my video and you like, hmm, let me check her out. Okay, she seemed kind of cool or whatever, you know. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, okay? I'm gonna wait for a second while you do it. You hit the subscribe button yet? All right. <laughs> and while you ready, go ahead and hit the post notification bell so you can always know when I upload, okay? Because that's what the Fab Family does. Keep up with each other. I love to talk to you guys down in the comments because I try to answer back to at least all of the comments that I do get. I pretty much do answer back to all of the comments that I get under my videos. But yeah, you know, enough of that. If you're a true Fab Family or a true you know, fabulous breed type of fan. Now, I don't even want to say fan, supporter. Definitely do all of that for your girl. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into this video. All right, you guys. So first things first, I am going to oil my scalp because whenever I, before I put on a wig, I always like to grease my scalp, kind of give it a nice little massage just to cut back on the flakiness and to also soothe the itchiness. I'm using the Do Grow Hair Oil. You can find this at Walgreens or your local beauty supply store. And I just put that all through my parts and just rub it in nice and good until I feel like I have my, you know, scalp feeling all moisturized and things. And I ran out of edge control, so I am using the Blueberry Bliss um, Curl Jelly to lay down the fuzziness in the front. Um, so, and then I like to go in with a smooth brush, like a soft bristle brush, just to smooth out the hair even more before actually going in with the wig caps. So now I'm just pulling my hair up. Uh, I don't really do anything unique. I just like to pull all of my hair up as you can see before actually going in with the first wig cap. This is like a neck cap. I like to use this to kind of get my hair in place and just to, you know, make sure everything is secure before actually going in with the lighter wig cap. And this kind of, I guess, go as a skin tone, <laughs> like a scalp method. But I also like to just wear two wig caps just to make sure it's nice, secure, and just nice and flat before putting on my wig. And here I am taking like a satin. This is like a wig um, strap kind of thing that you can wrap around your hair before putting on your wig. And this just makes sure that your wig stays in place. Before actually going into the hair, I am going to do my makeup. And as you can see, I already have my brows done, you know, doing a little emotion check if I can frown or anything with them. <laughs> and then I'm taking the leftover concealer that I have from doing my brows and putting that on first before actually going into this MAC Paint Pot. I am using this as an eyeshadow base. Um, this kind of helps with the color just to help it pop a little bit more because it is a brighter concealer base and then I'm going in with some loose setting powder to just make sure that's nice and matte before going in with my eyeshadow. So the eyeshadow palette that I'm using is the Born to Run palette by Urban Decay and the first shade that I'm using I'm just actually using a dark brown color and I'm just going to pat that in place. I'm not really doing any blending with that but as far as the blending of the edges with that I'm taking a burnt orange color to do so with like a nice fluffy brush and y'all I was pretty turned up when doing my makeup. <laughs> as you can see I was listening to Drake and I was just like in the in the mood in the moment. So what I did on the other eye, I'm pretty much doing the same thing, blending it out with the orange and also doing a little bit more of turn up, y'all. I was just, I don't know why I was so turned. 
<laughs> but yeah we got that all together we about to move on to the base <laughs> but before i went in before i actually did the cut crease method i kind of went back in with that dark brown just to kind of smoke out the edges of the eye because i really do love a smoky eye look with eyeshadows with any color that i do and then here i am going back in with that mac paint pot to create my cut crease look and i'm using like a really small concealer brush to achieve that and now I'm going in with a green, it's kind of like an army green kind of color. And it is a shimmer inside of the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. And I'm just going to pat that all over the area where I created the cut crease, you know, just to help that pop a little bit more and just have that in place. You feel me? <laughs> And then I'm just going to use a dark brown to shade out the edges of that green so it can give kind of like a blended effect, if that makes sense. <laughs> And I thought it was looking so pretty. And I'm not putting on any false lashes because as you know, I do have on lash extensions. So I'm taking like a disposable mascara one to brush out my lash lashes to pick up the product and to also unclump them so they can look all nice and big. And now before going into my face, I am going to prime it. I am using the CoverGirl poreless primer this is like a satiny kind of matte feel and it smells really really good like lotion i like to use this before putting on my foundation because it really does help with smoothing out the skin and then i'm going in with the warm honey la girl pro concealer to cover up some of the dark areas on my face which is under my eye and on my nose and just blend that out before going in with my foundation here and the foundation that I'm using is from Maybelline. This is the Spicy Brown in the shade 338. This is like my summer shade. And I find it to work really, really good. I love a matte finish and it definitely holds me all day. And then I'm going in with my favorite concealer of all time right now. This is from the, uh, the Rihanna, the Fenty Beauty Collection. This is the Pro Filter Concealer. And I think I'm using the shade 350 if I'm not mistaken. Um, I will have everything listed down below. So definitely check the description box for all of the details. But I am using like a fluffy brush to blend out my concealer now. I really don't use... Um, sponges anymore because I feel like it just picks up too much of the product but as you can see the only sponge that I use is to set the product in place and I'm using the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder and Saffron to kind of like you know no not Saffron Warm Beige to set all of the areas that I concealed and to also set under the contour area before going in with some face powder this is the BH Cosmetics Pro um, Contour Palette and I'm just using like the darkest shade in there to kind of warm up my face and bring back that definition and you know just bring it all together and now I'm just using a big fluffy face brush to dust off the excess powder and just blend everything all together so now I am going in with my favorite blush from NARS. This is Orgasm. I really love it because it gives me like the effect of blushing in a way. And then I'm going to use the same colors that I used in my crease to smoke out my bottom waterline. And I actually end up doing this step off of camera. So I did one eye. I'm just taking a black gel eyeliner from Maybelline. And I'm just going to put that along the bottom of my waterline. And then I'm also going to smoke it out with my small eye brush, pencil brush. And then uh, I'm going to go in with the mascara. I just wanted to give this look a little bit more of a smoky look. So that's why I did that step. And then here I'm going in with the Maybelline uh, Master Chrome Molten Gold Highlighting Powder. And I'm just going to highlight my cheeks, my nose, my forehead, brow bone, and cupid's bow area. Just to kind of, you know, make it pop. And then we're going to bring it all together with the e.l.f. Setting Mist. Now I am going to do my lips. I am using a brown lip liner from Minted Cosmetics. And then I'm going in with a NARS lip gloss. This is kind of like a pinky brownish kind of natural color. I really love this because it's just, I don't know. I just really like it. It's not too much and it's just like the perfect tone. And then I'm going in with a Bobbi Brown, like a light pinky kind of color. And this has been like my lip combo as of lately for the summer. And I just thought this went really well with the eyeshadow. And as you can see, it's time to put on this wig. <laughs> so we are going in with Old Faithful, guys. This is like the wig that I'm probably going to be wearing until it gets real raggedy, raggedy and worn out. 
but I will list um, the card up here at the top so you guys can check out the video on how I made this video <laughs> made this video made this wig and um, sometimes the edges tend to get stuck so as you can see I'm just pulling it down and to make sure it's just in place and I did make this um, wig glueless but I do tend to lay down the sides of it because I was actually going to leave the house right here and I didn't want my edges to like be flapping nowhere because you know mother nature likes to be random with the wind so I am going to go into the step of using <laughs> don't mind my armpits you guys you know I had on a lot of deodorant you know took a shower and everything <laughs> but um, I'm just going to pin my hair back with a clip and then I'm going to go in with the got to be um, free spray it's kind of like a um a hard spritz or whatever I just use this to kind of lay down just the edges not all over and it really works well like I can pretty much wear this wig for up to like three days in a way if I'm not sweating too hard I can I can wear this up to three days with just the spritz on the side and I really like it because it, it just keeps everything in place and then there you see I'm checking just to make sure it's laid down before I go to the other side and then I'm also getting the edges ready before I lay them down as well and here I'm just going over to the opposite side and I'm doing the exact same steps. Going in with that free spray from Got To Be Glued, laying the hair down and then taking my blow dryer to just blow it in place so it can dry faster. And using my comb to press it in the skin so it can lay even more. And here I'm just kind of making sure everything is nice and put together. And now it's time to like curl my hair, but I'm actually going to do this off of camera because you guys, I cannot curl hair to save my life. <laughs> but I only really just did the front part of my hair and probably did like some loose waves at the bottom. But you guys will see a picture on my Instagram if you haven't already of this look and it came out really, really good. So as you can see, you know, just making sure everything is all nice and it's looking really good. But now I'm just letting you know, you guys know that I'm about to curl and I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, you guys, and that is pretty much it for this video. I had to give myself a little mini makeover because I was down for a couple of days and was just not feeling myself. So I was like, you know what, Labria, just get up, do your makeup, and put your hair back on, sis, so you can be feeling good. <laughs> and I decided to record the process as well. But let me know if you like these kinds of videos down below, and I would definitely keep recording mini makeover videos. And give this video a thumbs up. And like I always say, I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye.